in a group. I have other sessions that I recorded, but I've not been able to upload them. Okay, so we're doing London breakout session. And this is how I start. So I go on tradingview.com. And go to chart. And I usually do JJ first because that's the one that moves very fast. And so I already set my time to my time zone. I think yours is also the same. Either Chicago or Mexico is a central time. Okay, so. For GBP, JPY, I will locate the previous candle. So that's the 2 a.m. candle. This is the one. This uh, is a blue candle. Okay, so I put a, I put in a horizontal line on there. Just so, as, just so it doesn't touch the wick. And then I put a vertical line. Excuse me, another horizontal line on top of it. So let me change this one to, change it to red. red. Okay, and I'll double tap and move it up to the end of that week, just above it. Okay, so can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so you see the number highlighted at the end here. This is the the low number for that candle. This is the highest number for that candle. Well, it looks like it moved up a little bit, so I'll move it again. I'm gonna wait for it to close though, but this is how I set it up. I'm gonna wait for another candle to form before I start doing anything. So that's GJ. Then I'll set another one. I just do. GU is next. GBP USD. And actually, I forgot to say you you do this on an hour chart. Our okay. chart. Uh -huh. Okay, on so here, yeah. huh? That's on our chart. Yes. So this is uh, my two o'clock candle. So I move this all the way down to that end. And I move this one. Okay, you see how it's just set up above and be below it. It doesn't touch it, don't let it touch it. Okay, so that's the one for GU. And I do another one. I do three of them though. I used to do six pairs of the grid within pounds, but now I just do three. And the next one will be GBP Canada. Actually, we can do four though. We can do GBP Canada and GBP Australia. Okay, so you set the, the horizontal line again on top of that 2 a.m. candle. And you put in another horizontal line below it. Make this green. You can choose whatever color that you want. I usually do red or green. Let's see if, it, if you want to move it, you can double tap. Double tap on it. And move it where you want it to go. So right here. Right there. Okay. So I have two minutes for that candle to close. Let me just see what um, 
So that's going to be GBP Australia. Second to GBP AED. This is my two AM candle. Okay. I'm just going to move this one. Okay, I move it on top again of that week, and then I move the bottom one again to the bottom of that week. So, and um, so we're gonna do buy stop, buy stop, and sell stop. We're going to place it. See that new candle already formed. It's three a.m. Did you see that? Okay, so so this is um G J G V P. Oh, hold on. So G J is forming and it's bullish. So we're gonna set up buy stop first. Okay, G J. Uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna move it a little bit. You see that it moved before it closed. So you watch that. Watch out for that. So I'm gonna move it a little bit on top of it. And I'm gonna move this just a little bit on top there. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, both ways, sell stop and buy stop. We'll, we wanna set it 10 pips away from these numbers that I highlighted here. Mm -hmm. We wanna set it, uh, 10 pips below 150.481 and 10 pips above 150.783. That's what we want to do. Okay, so you can do the calculation and tell me what number you come up. Sell stop, uh, sell stop and buy stop. What are we doing? GJ. Uh -huh. Buy stop. Yes, yeah, so buy stop you do 150.783. You take out 10 pips from A. And you want us to do 10 pips or 10 pips down, right? No, 10 pips away from the upper number and 10 pips away from lower number below. So you want to do for sale, which is 150.481, you want to do 10 pips below it. Your entry price will be 10 pips below. So oh, I know, I'm confused. Are we, we're doing buy stop, right? We're doing both, but we're gonna do um buy stop oh. first because it looks like the candle is going up. Okay, so for the buy stop, so our take profit will be no, uh, that's not our entry price. This one fifty point seven eight three, mm -hmm. you're going to do entry price ten pips away, above oh. it, above it. So, so our entry price will be one fifty point eight eight three. Hold on. No, no, sorry. 150.773. No, no, no. We're buying, right? Yes, we're buying. 150.793. So if you take away 10 pips, that's you add 10 pips to it, that'll be your 150.883 will be it. So you do that number plus. 0 0.1 will be 10 pips. So entry point will be 150.883. And I usually do uh, take profit, uh, 10, 10 pips take profit, 15 pips and 30 pips. So I do 0 0.01 lot size. And then my first entry will be 10 pips take profit. Second one will be 15 pips. And then the third one will be 20. 
So your entry price will be 150.883. Take profit one. 150.983. Yes, you got it. And then second one will be 151. Point zero eight one fifty one point zero eight three. No, no, no. You said fifteen pips, right? Yes, one fifty one point. Oh no, no that would be, be the, I did ten pip. One fifty one point zero eight three. That would be the third take profit. So this one should be one fifty one. Okay, fifteen. Um, one fifty one. I must name him as. So your twenty p stick profit will be one fifty one point zero eight three. Yeah, you right. You got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm doing the twenty pips. The fifteen pips can like at least. I must be a mental man. Okay, fifteen pips is one fifty point nine nine eight three. Right. One fifty point nine eight three. No, that's ten pips. Hold on, hold on, let me do one more time. 150.883 plus 0.15 will be 15. So that will be 151.033. Will be take profit to that's 15 pips. 151.033. And the take profit three will be 151.083. Yes, you got it. Absolutely. Zero eight three. Okay, so go ahead and I know you know I know that my my phone. Okay, so stop loss will be this candle, the low bar. So that will be 150.481. Mm. Okay, so sell stop. So we start from this candle down, this horizontal line down, 150.481. So we do minus 10 pips will be our entry price for the sell stop. So that will be 150.381, right? You get it, 150.381. And then, yes, for sell stop on GJ. And then take profit, one will be 10 pips, that will be 21, 150.21, excuse me. Hold on, something is not adding up. Oh, okay, 151. And then stop loss will be that high candle, the horizontal line on top. So that will be 150.783. For oh, stop loss? Yes, for stop loss. 150.783. Mm -hmm. So that's just sell stop. So we'll go to the next uh, pair. That'll be G. So how are we doing? Three. Yes. You could do four. There's six pairs of Great Britain pounds. The other two, I don't like trading. Just add, add, add. Is it like 10, 10, 15 pips? Yes, yes. Just add. So your take profit too will be, let me see. For 15 will be 150.231 will be your take profit two for GJ. And then 3.231. Uh -huh. 
and then take i don't usually do take profit three because i have other pairs 150 point three eight one so you take profit three of the 150.181 you can just choose to do gj alone or you can do sometimes it depends on how many shares i have in position i can just do one pair of breathing pounds and go to bed so for gu it's right here on my screen okay so for G, our so we're gonna do ten pips for buy stop, ten pips above this one point three three eight four five. I want to post this on the Telegram so other people can see it. Okay. What did you say? Her, her entry point is what? For G. Hold on, let me go back to the picture. I have. 1.33945. Oh. 1.33945. Okay, so you added 10 pips from the green candle. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so entry will be 1.33945. Take profit one will be. 1.34045. This is for GU, GP USD. Okay. So if you want to do 20 pips, it will be. Are you writing this down so you can post it? My camera is not working. Yeah, I'm writing it. Okay. So. Um, no, 20 pips. For 20 pips will be at 1.34145. And then stop loss will be that candle, that candle below. So that will be 1.336 is there. Okay. 1.33680. I'm not sure I'm going to do, um, um, no, I'm sorry, for sell stop we're doing, right? No, no, you said buy stop. Oh, buy stop, yeah, so the stop yeah. loss will be there. Yeah, that can be. So for G U sell stop, we'll do one point three three six eight zero. We take away um ten pips from there. It will be one point three three five eighty. So take away one ten pips is our take profit. Is our entry price? Okay. So one point three three five eight zero. Yes. And then take profit with for the ten pips will be one point three three four eight zero. No, five eight zero. Yeah, four eight zero. I'm sorry. One point three three four eight zero. And the stop loss will be the upper 
number 1.33845. You done with GU? GU. Yeah, I wrote the number. I have it. We can move. Okay, you can take a picture and send to Telegram, please. Okay, so the next one is Australia. Oh, we can do Canada. Okay. Okay, yeah, for Canada, let's do by stop. So we'll do again 10 pips above the upper number that's yeah, 10 pips above 1.71 yeah you did card no gbp gbp canada no oh, actually it's australia canada no london is always great britain pounds no no that's what i thought you said oh okay So enterprise with 1.71793. 1.71793. Okay, did you get that? 1.71793. Yes. That's by stop on GBP Canada. Hmm. So take profit, one will be 1.71893. One point seven one eight nine three. Uh, I'm gonna do fifteen pips on this one. Okay. That will be that will be one point seven one nine four three. 1.71943. One, one, and then stop loss will be 1.71312. One, okay. okay, for GP Canada, sell stop. So we do 1.17, excuse me, 1.71312 minus 0 0.001. That would be 1.71212. 1.71212. And then take profit of 15 pips will be 1.71062. And stop loss on the sell stop will be 1.71693. 1.71693. GBP AUD Enterprise 1.77968 Take profit 
Sorry, no bus stop. Then uh, take profit. I'm sorry, what a what enterprise are you? 1.77968 1. 1. 1.7968 1.7968 1.7918 1.7818 Seven eight one one eight. Uh, surplus on it. Yes, surplus one point seven seven three five four. One point seven seven three five. Why are you here now? Bitcoin. Jesus Christ. Because number this lady goes in Bitcoin, Bitcoin on a six thousand. I know. Where were they going? Getting you some? Yeah. No, sell stuff for GBP AUD. So we're doing one point seven seven three five four minus point zero zero one. So enterprise is one point seven seven two five four. One point seven seven two five four. Yes. Fifteen pips take profit will be one point seven seven one zero four. And then stop loss will be 1.77868. And so you still have to earn a sales stop for GBP Canada though. I'm sorry, I'm again. You have to earn a GBP Canada on sales stop. You just did buy stop, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all buy stuff. Okay. But now you have GBP AUD buy and sell stop, right? That's what we just did. Uh, 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 no, I think I have, yeah, yeah, buy stop, sell, sell stop. Okay, for GBP Canada sell stop. GBP. So this, this session. Huh? GBP Canada. Yes. Okay, for the question. What about it? Are you still on it? Yeah, I'm still on it for take profit. What's a take profit? Uh, no, I don't have take profit, but my is on is on profit eleven cents because I did zero point zero two loss size. Okay, you enter before me. I'm on point uh, minus. It's just been yo-yo in open. Don't look at touch tab. Don't look at touch. Yeah. But anyway, even need to go sleep. Yeah, you can take profit in the morning. Let's say so for London session, we do this two a.m. Uh, Eastern time. You can wake up to a two forty-five because we want to have the this candle two a.m. candle close so we can detect our high and low of that candle. That's this one. And I'll Jill, I'll post the video later though, so you can see it. But anyways, yeah, I, I recorded it, so I'll post the video later so you can see what I do, uh, London breakout session. So as the way we entered it, low, 10 pips away from the low point of that candle and 10 pips above that candle. So by, by 6 a.m., one of them should be able to kick in and take profit. If not, we'll leave it until... New York first four hours close, and then whichever one that you take profit at. So if you take profit at uh, buy stop, then you have to close your sell stop. If you take profit at sell stop, you have to close the buy stop. 
Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to close it, huh? Okay, so if you wake up at six, for you it will be 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. Eastern time. And then you check all this, for this London session, we're just doing only Great Britain pounds. So you check your Great Britain pounds. If they already take profit, you won't see it in the position. So you go to your history and see which one took profit. If it's sell stop, then you go back to your pending order and delete buy stop. Don't leave it for the whole day, New York session. Does that make sense? Hello? I don't know if I'm following. <laughs> okay. Okay, did you see how we said on, on each pair, we said buy stop and sell stop, right? Okay, so in the morning when you wake up, one of them should be in position. That is because we enter it based on if market wants to go up, we, we take profit up. If it wants to go down, we take profit down. So yeah. whichever way the market goes, mm -hmm. then you're already taking profit on that way, on that side direction. Okay. So you go back and delete the opposite direction. That's what it means. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. I see, makes sense. Okay. All right. And that should be at my, that should be 8 a.m. 7 Eastern. to 8 a.m. Eastern, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I do this Monday to Friday, except on the news day, because what happened, if there's going to be a Great Britain pound news, it would, it would just, go up and down and hit your stop loss both ways. So, but on just a regular base, regular mm -hmm. day without no high impact news, it should be just one direction. It should. So that's a, a steady profit you can do every night. Every night I do that. And that's it. I need to start watching the videos. I need to call these people and get my account set up. Oh, yes, you do. So I can have a more clarity on this thing. Mm. I have a, a Euro AUD. I have Euro CHF. Oh. How do you get to BY? How do you get? I'm not on any Euro CHF. I don't trade that bit, though. Any Swiss and Frank, I don't like it. They're so. Yeah, we did it. 12-4, Euro CHF? Yeah. I don't think so. Where did you get it? Harmonic scan? No. Is it that you are from Dr. Spina? Uh, but you share whatever doctors. Um, I'm good meeting. I don't know you get it. Euro CHF. Oh, okay. I'm no longer on it then. Okay, let me just delete it. Yeah, delete the pending order. Um. Oh, mm -hmm. one more pair that I like to do, uh, GBP, CHF, but recently I just don't do that pair because it tends to move up and down, up and down, and it hits your stop loss and moves the opposite way. So that's it for London breakout session. Any more questions? Mm -mm. Okay. Thank you. All right, we're up for making money. <laughs> uh, money. 